Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God. Mr. Wickham is to resign from the militia and go into a northern regiment. Happily, there are still some among his former friends who are willing to assist him in purchasing a commission. I have written to Colonel Forster to request that he will satisfy Mr. Wickham's creditors in Brighton, for which I have pledged myself. Perhaps you will be so good as to do the same for his creditors in Meryton, of whom I enclose a list according to his information. I hope at least he has not deceived us. Let us all hope so. As soon as they are married, they will journey directly to join his regiment in Newcastle, unless they are first invited to Longbourn. Oh, yes, my dear Mr. Bennet, of course they must come here. I long to see my dear Lydia. And dear Wickham, too, of course. But it is shocking that poor Lydia should have been sent away from Brighton. And such a favourite among all the officers. There were several of the young men there, you know, that she liked very much. And they will miss her as much as she will miss them. These northern officers may not be quite so pleasant. My dear Mrs. Bennet, I'm sure our youngest daughter will have no difficulty in finding friends as silly as she is in Newcastle. She has a talent for making a spectacle of herself wherever she goes. But if they are to leave Brighton, they should come to Hertfordshire and reside in the neighbourhood. Hay Park might do, if the Goldings would quit it. Or the Great House at Stoke, if the drawing rooms were larger. Or Purvis Lodge. Oh, no, dear, not Purvis Lodge. The attics there are dreadful. Mrs. Bennet, before you take any or all of these houses, let us come to a right understanding. Into one house in the neighbourhood, they shall never have admittance. 